Okay, it's time for preparing for the decisive battle. And depending how long this takes me, I might also do the battle of Chi. In pursuit of total control, Cao Cao moves on Jing, capturing it in the blink of an eye and continues south. Soon, he arrives at Sun Quan's Yang province. His huge numbers practically bury the banks of the Shang'an. Faced with such a powerful enemy, Wu wavers between fighting and surrendering. Elsewhere, Liu Bei after being driven from Jing, gains the services of the sleeping dragon, Zhuge Liang. In such tense times, what will this genius strategist suggest? Now, the strategies of Zhuge Liang are about to change the fates of Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and Liu Bei. Master Cao Cao is marching south on the orders of an imperial edict. Jing province has seen the writing on the wall and has surrendered to us. That brings us to our current situation, Master Sun Quan. By the way, I hear that you are harboring one of the men who conspired to assassinate my father. He is a criminal who sought to bring down the Prime Minister of the Han. Give us Liu Bei and we shall forget about the incident at Wu Lin. Listen here, boy. You are a messenger. Show our lord the proper respect. We have already formed an alliance with Liu Bei. We cannot simply turn him over to Cao Cao. Huh. So you are saying that you are turning your back on the Han? As a former servant of the court himself, how disappointed your father must be in you. You are traitors who call upon the glory of the Emperor to further your own ambitions. We will never agree to serve you. He's right. I have no plans of serving Cao Cao. You should leave here now. I had heard that Wu was divided between those who wished to surrender and those who wished to fight. It sure didn't feel like it back there. Yes, it's almost as if they rally behind something. Perhaps someone has managed to unite them. I definitely am not looking forward to facing the Wu's navy. I see that the negotiations have broken down. However, you seem rather pleased, my lord. Huh. Letting people like this live can only come back to hurt us later. We should do what we can to finish Sun Quan and Liu Bei once and for all. Our showdown with Sun Quan draws ever closer. If anybody has any doubts, I wish to hear them now. I would like to work on improving our naval readiness. An actual battle would be best, but we don't have the time for that. I've heard that there are bands of pirates in this region. Perhaps we should deal with them so they do not interfere with our battle plans. I fear there are many soldiers who will suffer from seasickness. I am worried that we do not have enough physicians. My only concern is that the scouts sent to check out Sun Xuan's camp have yet to return. Is it possible they were captured by the enemy? The enemy features two capable strategists in Zhou Yu and Zhuge Liang. There is a strong possibility that they have already planned something for us. Such as false rumors, for example. Or perhaps they have sent a forged letter. As such, it is important that we seek the absolute truth in all matters. Hmm. Thank you for your opinions, everyone. We are currently looking to face one army while turning our back to another. Ma Tang of Liang Province continues to grow in strength while we deal with Sun Quan. There are many enemies besides Sun Quan and Liu Bei determined to stop us from uniting the land. We cannot afford to waste any more time. Everyone, 
I need you to quickly dispel your doubts and misgivings and prepare for this showdown that awaits us. This mission um, takes a while, but is pretty important because it gives you markers for like the altar and and stuff like that. So I always do it even though it takes a while. Report! Our scouts are being attacked on the way back from the enemy's camp. <sighs> But we've got our hands full, too. Is there no one who can help them? complete our duty as scouts. I won't die until I get back with this information. Thank you. Now I can get this important information back to our forces. This will give our forces the advantage we have to get back to our comrades. We're obtaining just the information we need, only to be spotted on the way back. Hold back. Thank you. Now I can get this important information back to our forces. I need a dog by. I guess it's kind of a what if situation though. A while back, but I actually way back. Really enjoyed it quite a bit. It was pretty interesting. Thank you for the reinforcements. This information will be a big help. And it's storming right now, so hopefully I don't lose power while I'm recording. Thank you for the reinforcements. This information will be a big help. I'd better fall back before things get out of hand. Yes! We did it! Victory is ours! one's faster than naval training, so I'll be with The scouts have brought some good info back. Why don't you go talk to them? Oh, I feel terrible. Many days at sea have made me sick as a dog. Someone near here has medicine? 
I've heard, but I'm too sick to go look. You want medicine for seasickness? Try some of this then. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! You brought me the medicine I needed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, you're seasick? Then I've got a better way of dealing with it than taking medicine. What you do is tie all your ships together. That'll stop them from rocking and no one gets seasick. I see. That's a good idea. Let's let everyone know and link the ships. Oh. There's really no point in doing all the missions for these types of battles unless you want the XP from them. And I don't really need the XP from them, so I only do the two that are two that are, are the two that are required. So is everything ready for the battle? We have obtained some valuable information. It will be up to our officers whether we can utilize it in battle. It seems the men's seasickness has subsided somewhat. This should enable them to fight in the coming battle. Hmm. In that case, I shall give the men a much needed rest. We must keep their spirits high for the battle ahead. Our preparations for the upcoming battle are complete. We must take this time to rest and gain in strength and vigor for the challenge to come. I understand the reason why, but this is still a rather strange formation. Yes. This formation is for appearance's sake only. If we had more time, we could have done something to the ships themselves. But alas, we are lacking in both preparation and training. However, we possess the overall advantage in numbers, so I'm curious how the enemy will come at us. I do not see them attempting to attack us on the water. I give that almost no chance of happening. You say that. Yet you sound as if you still have some apprehensions. If something is bothering you, you should bring it up with our Lord. No, it's not so much that I have apprehensions. I just have a general feeling of unease. The winds have grown quite strong. A cook fire was just stirred up by the winds and almost turned into a full-fledged inferno. That reminds me. Soon Chuen is downwind of us. Shouldn't we be thinking about using a fire attack against him? That would be an option if we weren't on the river. Their navy ships are spread out, meaning a fire attack wouldn't be very effective. I see. Their navy is also well trained. I didn't think it could be that easy. Anyway, our lord has summoned us. Please come with me. Very well. Let's go, Master Shunyo. This time of year, the winds along the Xiangjiang blow to the southeast from the northwest. The winds are especially strong this evening. We should be arriving at the enemy's position shortly. This is the chance we have been waiting for. We shall cross the Xiangjiang and slay Sun Quan and Liu Bei. We can overcome our disadvantage on the water through sheer numbers and superior valor. Now, follow me to victory. Ah! We 
Um, about 15 minutes. I think I'll do GB in the next battle. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.